I'm about to say something that might rub some people the wrong way. But what happened with the running backs, I think was by design. I think the NFL owners sat back and paid attention and watched some things that they probably didn't agree with, you know, so they came together and decided. And I think this is the way they're going to do business from now on. So, you know, it's some things that people need to pay attention to, watch for the signs, so that way you know what the fuck is coming. But, um, when it comes to the running backs, you know, you know, you have running backs out here, you know, breaking the bank. I mean, getting huge contracts. You got to think about it. You already got to pay a quarterback a huge contract. You already got to pay a star wide receiver a huge contract. You know what I'm saying? Back in these contracts, they keep growing. You know what I'm saying? You know, yeah, the sport is doing well. It's growing too. But, you know, that starts to cut into profit. They in the business to make money. Not to lose money. To make money. You know what I mean? So the more they can keep in their pockets, the happier they become. So, you figure. They purposely dismantled this whole running back situation. All they had to do was just agree. If all the clubs agree that we're not going to run out here and blow a shitload of money on these running backs and let some of them take a fall you know just to prove to them like hey we're not doing this no more then guess what the prices are going to start coming down you know what I mean and they're going to start doing that with receivers too you know what I mean then they're going to come after them fucking quarterbacks you know what I mean because I mean you got you, you, you got people out here getting a hundred hundred and something million dollar contracts and for them, they don't want to pay all that money. You know what I mean? I don't care how well the league is doing. You know what I mean? I don't care how well the league is doing. They don't want to pay all that money. So right now is the running backs. And I mean, it's just getting started with them. But trust me, it's going to be some pushback. But the running back game is over. You know what I mean? Trust me. Like, there's no more breaking the bank. You know what I mean? If you can't, you know... Um, get that market value down then shit when it's time for you to go for a real ridiculous contract shit your ass gonna be gone you know what I mean they gonna be replacing them like hotcakes after that it's gonna be the wide receivers like I said everything you've seen is a test you know I mean you think about this another thing to pay attention to the era of the drop back quarterback I mean, Tom Brady probably was the last drop back quarterback that you're going to see that was like, I mean, like, just winning Super Bowls and stuff. You know what I mean? Because the game is changing, it's evolving. You know what I mean? That's why they're going to start implementing rules and start taking away things that gives leverage or advantages to these mobile quarterbacks. Now, most of the mobile quarterbacks are black. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Most of them. You know? But the things that would level out the playing field, you know, how before, you know, wasn't that many black, you know, starting quarterbacks in the league or whatever. It was more of the athletic trophies and stuff, you know? You know, now the league is turning toward the athletic trophy type of quarterback. You know what I'm saying? They got to they got they got to throw a monkey wrench into that, you know what I'm saying? Because I I'll be damned if they think that the league is just going to turn into a, an all black quarterback thing. <laughs> That's not going to happen. They they that shit. They are dying. They sleep before that happen. You know what I mean? They not letting that happen. You know what I mean? Because I mean, think about it. Look at Mahomes. Mahomes is not your traditional quarterback, drop back quarterback. He throw the ball side on. He rolls around in the pocket. He sometimes runs for it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, look at Jalen Hurts. Jalen Hurts is, you know what I mean, right now, he's like one of the top quarterbacks. Then you got uh, my man from um, 
from uh what is that the Ravens, Baltimore Ravens. Can't get his name right now. Lamar Lamar. You know what I'm saying? You know, their style of play, you know what I'm saying? It takes a running game and evolves it, you know, and then you got the little short pass in it, then sometimes over the top passes. You know what I mean? Like it just it's just like uh it's more tricky to scheme and in defense against. So they're gonna start implementing stuff, you know, to slow that shit down. And, you know, like when I say slow it down, I mean like cut some of that shit out. You see they start talking about that little quarterback sneak thing they was doing down in Philly. I mean, like it's a legal play. I mean <laughs> like what's the problem? You know? Everything safety, 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 that's all bullshit. No, they trying to they trying to leverage shit. You know what I mean? You know, trying to take, you know, some of your edge away, you know? And like I said, I mean, I'm just saying, like, pay attention, watch, you'll see. You know? Like I said, they, they, they are not trying to usher in this era of mobile, run-around, black quarterbacks. They are not trying to issue the era. In. Like, they want to still have the drop-back pocket quarterback. And if they got a level of playing field to make that possible, then all the little tricks and gadgets that you might have and use as leverage, you know, to couple with your athleticism, you about to lose all that, buddy. Trust and believe. And uh, in case you didn't know, I'm a Dallas Cowboy fan. You know, but hey, got to give credit where credit is due. You got to respect the men that put on the uniform. You dig? Stay righteous. How about them Cowboys?